Hello Stampers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to show you this fun card that I made with the Spotlight on Nature bundle that has been hard for stamping up to keep an inventory because it's such a popular bundle. Just love the flower and the butterfly and the leaves and look at these dies that come with the bundle. Um, all these different fun circle dies and the possibilities are really endless with this bundle. And so I want to show you how I made this card really like how it turned out so the first thing that i want to do is uh, go to my cutting and embossing machine and i'm going to use for this card i'm going to use two coordinating circles these two just because i thought they kind of looked pretty and i want to start well, let me go ahead and start. So first of all, this is the watercolor paper. I just want to get those chads out of there. Sorry, I should have cleaned it up before the video, but I didn't. So the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and cut this out. And I want to cut out, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this card. Um, I'm going to cut out A green semicircle, and I'll explain more when I get to that. So I'm cutting. This is going to go instead of the thank you. I'm going to put a circle up here. So I'm just eyeballing it because I'm going to use a different sentiment also for this card. I have a lot of weddings coming up, and I thought it would be fun to do like a wedding card. So if you notice, this one is running off the edge of the paper, and that's intentional. And I want to pull it through. And then the other thing that I want to do, just set this aside. I'm going to take off the two plates. So I only have the one plate. And I want to go ahead and emboss using this fun new oversized die, which I can't recall the name of, but it's brand new. Love it. I went ahead and marked the die on the inside. I, there are these little black marks sort of hard to see it but zoomed out but that's where I'm going to put my paper and the reason that I did that was so that the circles would end up in the right hand side of my card which is what how I wanted it I'm going to put the fold towards the mechanism here and pull it through and so everything is now cut out and embossed so let me get this out of the way. And by the way, this is one of the new in colors called Petunia Pop. Probably my favorite new in color. Super pretty. Super bright. I really, really like this color. All right, this was eight and a half by five and a half. Piece of cardstock. Cardstock scored at five and a quarter and then this will go on top of it and then my circle which was I cut off this side because I wanted to stick it over off to the side so that it kind of goes it lines up around those dots and then this will go up here in the corner like that and that's where I'm going to put my sentiment all right so let me go ahead and work on this now since everything's cut out put these back on my magnetic sheet so I don't lose them and I want to go ahead and emboss heat emboss this and I'm going to use the flower first let me get Uh, looking for something to put underneath that. Of course, I'm, nothing's coming. There it is. <laughs> I know it's here somewhere. All right, so this is just a mat that, that uh, Stampin' Up! used to sell. They don't sell it anymore, unfortunately, but I really like using it because it's um, like plastic, and so you can wipe it off when you're done with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp the big flower with a Versamark and if you notice I've got it upside down and I'm tapping it 
with my Versamark pad just because it's easier when it's this big. And on this card, I kind of had it going this way, but I think I want it to go this way on this card, I decided, with the new sentiment going that way. So I'm going to go ahead and go like that. All right, and you really can't see anything, so really you have to go ahead and emboss as you go because I can't see what I stamped, but I know I stamped something there. So this is white embossing powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with my white embossing powder. Now you can see, now you can see the design. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, I wanna stamp one more flower over on the side. And I think that that's probably good enough. Let's see what it looks like. Oops, I'm putting embossing powder on there. And that looks good. All right, so now I want to go ahead and heat set this. So let me get my gun, heat gun, embossing gun. Somewhere I have a clipboard, but it's not at my fingertips, so I'll just hold on to it by the side. And you know, I said this is white embossing powder, but it's actually clear embossing powder. Okay, hold on a check. No, it's white embossing powder. Okay. All right. Yeah, and actually the reason that's important is because I'm going to watercolor it next. And if I used clear, it would look similar, but I kind of just like the white a little bit better for this technique. So that's what I used. All right, that looks good. And actually while I have everything out, I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp this which I thought I would put celebrate because as I said I have several weddings coming up now this celebrate came out of the unbounded love set as did um, my original actually my original thank you came out of the cutest cows die the cutest cow set but the dies came with the unbounded love which are these Super pretty. Love them. Anyway, so celebrate. I thought that would be good. A good sentiment for a wedding. My son is getting married in, wow, uh, a month. Like 30 days. So super exciting. We're super excited. And this would make a really nice wedding card for them. Plus, a lot of his friends are getting married, so just a lot of weddings going on. Just a pretty exciting time of their life. All right, so there's the celebrate. Once again, that's white embossing powder, which really pops on the blue, on the green paper. This is also new in color. It's called Shy Shamrock. And I really like these two colors together. They're super pretty. All right, so now all we have to do is um, watercolor. And I'll go ahead and start with the petunia pop for that. And I'm just squeezing the pad like that. You could also put a reinker. Um, just put a drop of ink on there, but with these darker colors. This works just fine, and I'm going to add, I'm squeezing on my watercolor pencil to just add water to that, and I want it a little lighter, so I'm going to add more water. And it's always a good idea to test the shade on a scrap, and that looks good to me. So I'm ready to start. And 
and off we go. Now I did try some different uh, ideas with the outline stamped image, but I've just found really that embossing worked best for me. Um, if you use the tuxedo black, it just runs and then it ruins your watercoloring. Kind of turns a muddy brown, and so that was disappointing. So really, you should probably, if you want to use a black outline, you should probably use your stays on, um, which you can actually use stays on with the red stamp pads. Um, I'm, I'm just personally not a big sta fan of stays on it. It uh, stains your pads permanently, and um, if so, that's it for there. And especially if I'm having my stamp club make a, a card, um, they're not always so good about washing off the ink right away, and so it can just really stain your pad. So, if, I mean, if you're going to use stays on at home, if you just quickly clean off the stamp, then usually it won't stain too badly. But for my stamp club, that's just really not an option. All right, so... That's it for the flowers, and now I'm going to use the Shy Shamrock for the leaves. And once again, just going to take my watercolor marker and add water. That's about four drops, and I think I want another couple drops. And I want to test the color again, make sure it's not too dark. Yeah, it looks good. But honestly, I think that I like the white better than I would the black outline with this. I think it's just really pretty. And I just want to do the stem a little too. And especially, I don't know, for a wedding card, I think it looks even better to have the white. This looks like a summer wedding which is my son is going to have, and his fiance. All right, that looks good. And the last thing that I did on this card, well, I'm just taking a paper towel and wiping up the ink. You could also use a baby wipe if you want to get it totally clean. But And you actually don't even have to do that, but I just try to keep my pads looking decent. The last thing I did was take some crumb cake, and this little um, speckles or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to stamp some around. I'm rotating the stamp so that it doesn't always look the same. And I love this crumb cake. To me, it looks gold. It's super pretty. Which I actually did, speaking of gold, I did actually... I don't think I saved it, but I actually did emboss one of these in gold, and it was pretty, but I, I just really liked the white better, so that is what I went with. Now I did get a little here on the leaf. I didn't really mean to do that, but you can wipe, wipe it off the embossed area at least. All right, so now I just have to assemble this card, and I want to use my um, Tombow to do that. Hopefully I have enough to get through this card because it feels like it's pretty empty. You have to use a different adhesive. Why well, I was so low on tumble, I don't even see another thing of it. Usually I have several as backups. I don't really seem to have that today, so I have to get some more on my next order. Now I'll make sure my circles are going the right way. And they are. And by the way, this um, petunia pop paper is five and eighth, five and three eighths by four and an eighth, so that my border is smaller than I generally do. Usually do five and a quarter by four and an eighth, but I just added that extra eighth of an inch. 
so that it would be a smaller border. Thankfully, my Tombow is holding up. All right, so I put Celebrate up there in the corner. And maybe uh, be sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, maybe leave in the comments which card you like better, the thank you card or the celebrate card with the circle. And that's already popping up, so I don't think I got enough Tombow on there. That's the thing with these super... Um, 3D embossing folders. This one is really um, thick, a deep deep, deeply etched embossing image. So you just got to get enough glue to hold it down there. <clears throat> I think I'll just use this stamp and seal on this one. See if that does better to hold it down on this deeply etched image. And generally, I don't usually use so much Tombow, but or adhesive, mono adhesive, but because, like I said, this is so etched, I'm going to get that last little chat out of there. Okay, and then I'm going to line this circle up with the edge and the dots like that. So how fun is that? And the last thing I want to do is take some of the Shy Shamrock ribbon and make a little bow with it. There we go. That was not on the edge very good. Now this one I actually used the wrong color ribbon. Actually, this is, so this is the um, Summer Splash, and this is the Shy Shamrock, I guess. You know, either one looks good, but. You can leave in the comments which one you like better. But they both look really good with the um, Petunia Pop. I love pink and green together, and also I love like purple and green together. I think they're just really complementary, pretty colors together. And you can just play with the bow a little till you get it how you want it exactly. Scissors. Well, for the bow, I'm going to use a glue dot. And we'll put it over here this time. So the best way to grab the glue dot is to put the ribbon on it and then pull it off. So you don't really want to touch it with your fingers and get like oils on it from your skin. And there we go. This make a great uh, wedding congratulations card or wedding card. You could even do it in the colors of the wedding. Um, which is pretty close actually to our wedding that we have coming up, but ours will be more pink, lighter pink. So anyway, what up? So anyway, have a good day and hope to see you uh, back in my next video.